Hey everyone, Wags here from Eagle Dynamics, and in this DCS F16C Viper video, we're going to take a look at the instrument landing system, or ILS, for the Viper. And this allows approaches for night and in bad weather. Let's get started. Alright, to set up ILS, first we'll go to the ICP and select TILS. And then on the right side, we see we have the uh, ILS section and it is on. And we have command steering selected in a frequency of 108.1. And we'll change that to 110.3. We can also set a course setting. Uh, we'll dauber down three times. And we'll set it in 257 for our approach. And coming down to the electronic HSI, we'll select uh, ILS. And we see we have the needles on the ADI above it. And up here on the HUD, we also have our ILS needles as well, localizer and glide slope. So let's go ahead and unpause now. And first thing we'll do is we need to slow down here a bit. So I'll throw the air brake out. And once we get to uh, 300 knots, I'll go ahead and lower the landing gear. And at this point, what I'm doing is I'm just letting the aircraft slow down naturally, uh, idle throttle. And uh, once the uh, gear is down, I'll have the angle attack bracket on the HUD. And I'll keep pitching up uh, with the stick until the flight path marker is within the angle attack bracket. And I'll just keep flying forward along the uh, vertical localizer, uh, points to the runway. And then once we uh, intercept the uh, glide slope line, which is the horizontal bar, I'll be uh, decreasing the throttle to keep my uh, approach angle about 2.5 degrees, such that the FPM is on the glide slope line. So now I'm on my angle of attack, I'm on my localizer, but I'm still well below glide slope. And also you may be hearing the uh, beeping, and that's the uh, code for the ILS channel that we uh, punched in of 110.3 uh, here at McCarran in Las Vegas. You also may notice that he uh, decluttered the HUD a bit to make it a little more visible uh, during this approach. And of course the diamond there in the HUD is my steer point location, which is at the uh, runway as well. And just a little bit to the um, right of the runway, so I'm just correcting to the left a little bit. I'm still under glide slope, and I'm waiting for uh, my intersection of the glide slope to start descending uh, into McCarran. And during the approach, I'll be using uh, pitch on the stick to maintain my angle attack and then using throttle adjustments to adjust my glide slope. And now we see the glide slope starting to come down. And as it approaches my flight path marker, I'll start increasing the throttle bit to catch it. And the goal is to try to keep the uh, localizer and glide slope uh, lines uh, form a perfect cross over the flight path marker. And it's still a bit uh, below glide slope, so increasing throttle just a little bit now. And again, using pitch to adjust my angle of attack. Now a little bit above glide slope, actually it's starting to be a lot above glide slope. So I need to bring the uh, throttles back a bit now. Still well above glide slope. So we're pretty much at idle right now so I can uh, intercept the glide slope again. And coming back up. And bringing the throttle back on again. Okay, lined up. Just my angle attack a little bit. Trying to keep around 13 degrees or so. And at this point, we're uh, within visual range. We could use VASI and PAPI lights and do an individual approach at this point now. And going to idle throttle, flare in the aircraft and center touchdown. Uh, flare of the aircraft at about 13 degrees angle attack. And let the nose come down about 100 knots. 
And those are the basics of landing with ILS. I very much hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.